Hey Heartlanders, here's the long anticipated interview with the one and only Mrs. Bell. That's right, Mrs. Bell, otherwise known as the actress Anna Ferguson is here to tell us all about her role as Mrs. Bell in Heartland, as well as what she's been doing since then. Why do you think that the character, like after you're on for several seasons, why do you yeah. think that they, the character didn't continue through the season? They have a lot of supporting characters, as you notice. Yeah. And they will usually, I was on for, uh, I think, 11 programs, 11 episodes. And very frequently, the supporting actors come on for maybe five episodes and they have a sub story, you know, uh, and a, a subtext to them. I never saw her as a grandmother character. I saw her as representative of the feisty older set that was surviving yeah. and having fun and doing things. People love Mrs. Bell. Even now, I mean, I would love to see Mrs. Bell again. Oh, I had, when we've had um, autograph signings, I had, used to have many people, they yeah. always came straight to me and said how they admired the character because Mrs. Bell was a fabulous, um, independent, good humored, feisty uh role model. This is why I loved her. You know, the writers do part of it and uh, the costumes do part of it. And then as, a, as an actor, you decide what the sort of uh, human being you want to create. And so this is where I went with Mrs. Bell. Oh, that's so cool. Have you been like in, in any other movies or shows since you left Heartland? Since I did Heartland, I've done two movies. See the trailer for, uh, I think it's for the end of date. And it's a completely different character. Yeah. She, you know, <laughs> she's she's uh, really far out and a bit sci-fi and horrific. Uh, I also did uh, a movie called uh, Old Stock and it ran on HBO. Yeah. It was, you know, a city-fied character. So yeah, I welcome the country. Uh, Do you think that there is a real need for country programming? There seems to be a dearth of country programming. There's Heartland, and then there's a few other shows like One Calls the Heart, but I feel like people really want more country programming. Do you, do you find that too? I think they definitely are. There was a trend in the 60s to show a lot of back to the earth, uh, real people, you know. Um, with social media, a lot of our values have become uh, sort of superficial yes. and distorted. And uh, it's all about um, the, the Kardashians <laughs> and, and, you know, uh, glitzy artificial started, I think, with Paris Hilton, um, people who are famous for just being famous. And so I think people welcome, would like to welcome some real people, some down to earth representatives. I would like to see a spinoff of, uh, the Mrs. Bell character, and two other women. So we've got three independent women. Sort of, you, you know, you get a reprise of the Golden yes. Girls. Yes. You know oh my God, I think that is the most awesome idea. I think people would love to see a spinoff with Mrs. Bell in it. Now you mentioned Sean Johnston. What was it like working with him? I grew close to Sean Johnston because he's my age group, more or less. Uh, I'm a great admirer of his. He has worked all his life nonstop doing that Western sort of stuff. It's interesting that Amber Marshall, Chris Potter, and myself all come from the London, Ontario area. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so we had that in common. Uh, Chris Potter, I had lots of talks with him in the, uh, in the makeup room and we became friends. But my best friend on the set was Graham Wardell because mm -hmm. I do so many scenes with Ty. If you look okay. at Mrs. Yeah. Bell's scenes, she's very frequently engaged with Ty and he rescues her from bad situations. And he is just, he's such a gentleman. I'm a huge fan of Graham's. Um, can't say anything too good about him. Do you still follow him now? Do you follow what he does now, now that he's not? Yes, he's, he's getting work on other shows too. Okay. Yeah. And then have you seen like a lot of, he does a, a lot of YouTube videos and his podcast. Do you follow him on social media? I'm just starting to, Nita. 
What do you have a favorite episode when you were when you were in Heartland with Ty with Graham Mortal? Do you have a favorite my, episode? My favorite episode, I, I knew you were going to ask that question, was uh, I think it was called Hadley's Farm. It was that oh, that right yes. around Halloween time. Yeah. And it's it has a very poignant moment where Mrs. Bell talks about her past and having had a boyfriend and that ended badly. And then it has uh, the, the the different generations with Mallory having a boyfriend and um, and the sort of poignant scene with the butterfly at the end. Yeah. I've always loved that particular episode. Many of the other actors that have been on Heartland, including Amber Marshall and Aiden Marino, have said they were influenced by being on the set of Heartland to have more of an interest in country living. Did you find that to be the case with you? As a matter of fact, when the right to the day that I got, to, I had just bought a farm when I got cast in, in uh, Heartland way, wow. way back. Uh, what about 15 years ago maybe 20 and uh, I had horses and so when when they paired me with Sugarfoot you know I had some familiarity with horses because I had them on my own farm and I knew about the closeness and the, and the affection that you build for them and uh, I had a little secret with Sugarfoot I used to talk before we did any of our scenes I talked baby talk to him <laughs> I'd be off the set just talking, it's a baby talk. Let's, let's do this and we're going to gallop over there and then we're going to do this. And he, he was sort of like my pal, and I swear he was listening to me. That sort of impacted the relationship we had in any scenes I had with Sugarfoot. You also had miniature, miniature horses at your farm? No, I didn't have miniature ones. I had uh, um, riding horses, yeah. Wow, I wish they would have shown Mrs. Bell riding a real full-size horse. She could have. But, you know, her cart was part of that sort of eccentric image, that cart that she rode around yes. in. Maybe they thought that, I don't know, it would have been maybe a good idea to have her on horseback because that would show the younger side of her. Is there like anything that happened on the set of Heartland that was very funny or that you remember as being like very memorable? Yeah. That that episode that I tell you about that I like the about Hadley's farm that shows and it has Mrs. Bell uh, riding into the cemetery with the butterflies in a jar to put on my my old boyfriend's uh, cemetery thing. I go trotting in with um, um, a Sugarfoot and go up to the tombstone to do this and Sugarfoot looks across the fields to where the big horses are and they're playing and running and Sugarfoot took off and about that little horse could run so fast. He took off at about 60 miles an hour, straight past all the tombstones, heading <laughs> right for the other big horses, just bumpity bump, bump, bumps past everything. And the crew running after me to try and corral the horse. That, that was fun. And as you say, I've got to get on TikTok and get in the, in the mix <laughs> of things. I, I really want to put together uh, three spunky women yeah. who are you know, physically active and yes. doing what older people really do in real life. Well, what you were talking about with the older woman and, or older people and how they're portrayed, how do you feel about Betty White or how did you feel about her and how oh, she- Well, she was such a role model. She was such an inspiration for any of us over 75, you know, okay. fabulous, fabulous. Every actor's dream. And I think people do need to see that, um, that people who are older, that they still have so much to give. They're still regular people. They're not this caricature, like you said. Oh yeah, and uh, we're we're fairly wise too. We've got eighty years of knowledge. And I really think, like what you were saying, if you look at something like Heartland, where there are so many older characters, people love them. They love Jack. If you ask a lot of even kids on TikTok, I always try to see what the audience is like. I I'm shocked at how much people like Mrs. Bell and and Jack. Like those are the two characters that the kids actually like the most. That's excellent. It was so great to talk to you. Okay, hon, thank you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more great videos all about Heartland. Keep Heartland strong. Bye for now.